Ezio! Dio mio! You're alive! I is it true? They say you killed the Doge. I was trying to save him, Leonardo. But the truth matters little. I failed. And now I'm the most wanted man in Venezia. Well, perhaps you are in luck. It's Carnevale in Venezia. This is the time when everybody goes without a face. That's why I'm here. Do you have a mask I can wear? Of course, of course. Somewhere in here. Grazie, amico mio. And I have something for you. Oh, more of the Codex. Aha. This one's quite complex. Hmm. It's a new design, my friend. A mechanism for your wrist, but not a blade. In fact, it seems to be a kind of arma da fuoco, but as small as a hummingbird. Is that possible? I have no idea. Let's build it and find out. You've done me good, brother. Ma certo. But I'm sure your return was not just to play with new toys. Is it about this terrible new dodge they've installed? Marco Barbarico. Then you'll want to speak with your friend Antonio. I've seen him quite a bit lately at... a uh, uh, mutual friends. I'd look for him there, in the Dorsoduro district, to the south. Ask for Sister Teodora. Sister? Well, um... <clears throat> in a way, yes. Sister, and Ezio, you. you can't be carrying weapons out there today. Grazie, Leonardo. Now, about that mask. Marco Barbarigo. Although his brother Agostino was destined for greatness, Marco left his mark on Venetian history as well. A tyrant since he was barely old enough to walk. Whatever Marco wanted, he got. There are records here for jewels, entire fleets of ships, all paid for by his family and all ordered directly from him. And then there's his personal life. Apparently, Marco's wife, Carlotta, used to be married to his bodyguard, Dante Moro. Dante was captain of the city guard, an heir to one of the most prestigious families in Venezia. Marco was supposedly his close friend, right? But get this. Marco decides he wants Carlotta. In the Catholic religion, marriages till death do us part. And Marco's a good Catholic. So, he hires a hit on Dante. Dante gets stabbed three times in the body and once in the head. But he doesn't die. He recovers with severe brain damage. Dante becomes like a child. So, what does Marco do? Well... He hires Dante as his personal bodyguard, and he gets him to sign a confession annulling the marriage. Marco takes Carlotta, and keeps Dante as his personal slave. What a lovely fella.
just last month to be slaughtered by 300 of my finest sabers for his cavalry. You'd better get out of my sight. Order. Now. At once. are not allowed up here. Get down, or I'll throw you down. Antonio, we need to talk. Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Teodora, meet the most uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah, Sister Teodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come! Join us, Ezio. Have a drink. Meet the ladies. Ah! Murderer! Butcher! He sliced Lucia and stole so, the money! So, Messer Ezio, let's see just how talented you are. After him! Don't come any closer. Or I will carve up another one. Don't make me kill again! Have our gratitude, Ezio. Why is it wherever you go, trouble falls? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to rid Venice of Marco Barbarigo. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except for tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me, but why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> well, 
whoever said I wasn't. Indeed, I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So, I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice my faith. What I choose to do with my body. These are my choices to make. Like many young women, I was drawn to the church, but grew disillusioned by the believers of the city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads, not in the depths of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized, so I created my own. It may not be traditional, but men's hearts grow firmer in my care. Among other things, I'm sure. Signore, signore! Come on, come all! The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come, compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. You'd best get to it, Ezio. Signori, signori! This may be the easiest challenge yet. Or the harvest. A game of charisma and charm. Step right up, step right up. Who shall win the prize? <laughs> Welcome. Gentlemen, whether you win or lose, this will certainly be your favorite game of the day. Ladies, here's how the game is played. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out is one step closer to winning the Golden Mask. yourself a favorite of the ladies and are now one step closer to the greatest prize of all time
Get rest and you should be well recovered, friend. Enjoy your purchase and come again. Eccolo! There! There! Stop me, ragazzi! I recent good fortune finding oh. you suppliers has paid off. And I will catch it, don't worry. I'm here with you guys. What? Not you! There! There! <laughs> This week I'm almost giving my labor away. Well satisfied, I know it. What is your plan? Mm. 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 Eh, vieni 
acqua da papà, bambina bella. Oh, Say, you wouldn't be looking for a good time. Give me a minute. Step right up! Come on, come on! It's time for a game of skill and agility. Who can capture the flag? Who shall win the prize? Welcome, welcome! The rules of the game are simple. Outrun your opponents, take the flag from the middle of the field and bring it back to your starting position to score. If the opposition holds the flag, you must knock them down to steal it. Be the first to capture the flag three times, and the golden mask may yet be yours!
We have a winner! You've protected your flag and captured the enemies. You've proven yourself a warrior without fear and inch ever closer to victory! Citizens of the most serene republic, following the increase in accidents and drownings upon the Grand Canal, a decree has been brought into effect, barring excessive drinking while at the helm. Notice to all cittadini. How can we Due to the shortage of funds after the recent campaign in defense of the Grand I call it a summon point. I've got it. Sit tight. That should feel better. with a game of speed and endurance. Many challenges lie in your path. The game is simple, but finishing it, near impossible. Start when you're ready. The first contestant to beat the course record is one step closer to the Golden Mask.
The winner! You've proven yourself the fastest and strongest in Venezia! You are now one step closer to the grand prize! There's only one rule, no weapons. Fight until you are the last man left standing. Will it be you or two? Hmm. Who will win the golden mask? Words for your woman. I'll see her shortly. <laughs> Looks like this one thinks himself some kind of campeon. Go on, Dante. Show him how sadly mistaken he is. So that's how it's going to be, eh? of champions, the wisest strategist, and clearly a favorite of the ladies. With four games won lealmente, the winner of the Golden Mask is... <laughs> the winner of the Golden Mask is Dante Moro! Congratulations. We'll see you this evening.
I'm sorry, Ezio. We could not have known Silvio would cheat as he did. <laughs> you should have. Sister, you told us to let you know if we saw that rotting Kolo who stole the golden mask. He's on his way to the Doge's party. I will go. I can catch him before he arrives and take back the mask. How? By killing the poor Stronzo? Yes. You know what's at stake. No. If you kill him, they'll cancel the party. And Marco will retreat back into his palazzo. We'll have wasted our time again. Steal the mask instead. Quietly. My girls can help. They're already on their way to the party, all along the route. They can help you distract him while you acquire the mask. Va bene. I can do that. Come back and see us any time. Come what you shall slay, good sir, forever taking head of those who've done defile his deeds and lives by your sled. I may be expensive, but my goods are worth the extra quattrini. I've never stopped shoddy merchandise. I'd like to see you. You wouldn't be looking for a good sign now, would What's you? What's it? This way, Mr. Someone has come and say all life has to work for a man. Big strong hand. Just last month, the Visconti bought 300 of my finest sailors for his cabinet. Have you done, bel giovane? You need to unwind? You ragazzi look like you need to unwind. Say, could you help me fix my dress? We've got the finest dancers in the list. The price of perfection is not measured in coin. Well, actually, yes, it is.
Buonasera, signore. You made it. Marco is on a boat, just offshore. He's set to make a speech in a few minutes. Use my girls until then. Move with them to stay out of sight. Brother embarrasses himself with his display. You have no right to speak of him that way. He's the Doge. He is Doge in name only. And it's initial money he spent. There are larger things at stake, and you know it. Marco was the one chosen to leave. Your father may have thought he'd never amount to much, may have foisted his political ambitions on you. But it doesn't matter, does it? Given where things stand. I never wanted to be Doge. Then it seems you have succeeded wildly. Power is more than wealth. Does my brother truly believe he was chosen for any reason other than his riches? He was chosen for his wisdom and leadership. And this is what he does with such wisdom? Offer a live show? He hides away in the palazzo while the city comes apart at the seams. And then he thinks some expensive... Ex Signore e signori, I present to you the beloved Doge of Venezia. Benvenuti! Welcome, my friends, to the grandest social event of the season. At peace or at war, in times of prosperity or paucity, Venezia will always have Carnaval! Merda! He's not leaving the boat. I will have to swim out there. I wouldn't try it. He'll be spotted right away. Then I'll fight my way out there. Wait! Tonight! We celebrate what makes us great. How bright our lights shine over the world. That's it. Your pistola. The one you stopped the murder with. It's as loud as those explosions. Time it right, and you'll walk out of here unnoticed. I like the way you think, sister. I'll be waiting for you back at the brothel, my son. We all know we have come through troubled times, but we have come through them together, and Venezia stands a stronger city for it. Transitions of power are difficult for all, but we have weathered the ship. Ready. We rarely are. Que la morte non sia crudele. Requiescat in pace. 
spettacolo. Che spettacolo! A true hero! You must be exhausted. Come, relax. Ah, the savior of Venezia. What can I say? Perhaps it was wrong of me to doubt so readily. Now, we'll see where all the pieces fall. Enough of that now. You've worked hard, my son. I feel your tired body in need of comfort and succor. But I have such aches and pains, sister. I may need a great deal of comfort and succor. Oh, that can be arranged. Girls! Ezio, Ezio, Sir Antonio wishes to speak with you. Grazie for the message. You want to rob some Templars? I've marked the arsenal on your map. It's some kind of Templar base, so there's going to be all kinds of loot in there. <laughs> 